All right, it's time for another Affinity Photo tutorial. Today we are going to be creating the Adamski uh, effect. So we'll basically be turning this into this. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to take this group and I will just delete it. So we're starting from scratch. So this is just an image I found on the internet. So the very first thing we're going to do is duplicate this layer. Command J. And then on this layer, we're going to take and create our background that we're going to be using. So we need to get rid of this guy and his shadow. So let's zoom in a little bit here and we're going to use the in painting brush. And we're just going to come over here and and I'm using a trackpad today. So bear with me a little bit. I will speed up the portions that are uh, tedious. Okay, for our purposes, that's going to work just great. So let's go ahead. Now we need to separate him from the background. So let's turn this layer off here and come back to this layer. And we are going to select just the guy. So we'll get our selection brush, come in here, and we need him and his umbrella. And for the purposes of this, we're just going to come up to select and let's grow it by one pixel. And we will apply that. So now we will command C, copy that selection, command V, paste it, and then command D, deselect. All right, so now we can turn off this background layer here, turn on the one that we fixed. And we're just going to take and move him up one spot there. And we'll turn him off for the time being. All right, so now to create our Adamski effect. We're going to take this layer. And we're going to come down here to Motion Blur. And we're going to make sure we're at zero degrees here. We're going to go with a horizontal motion blur. We're going to go with about a 70 pixel blur. And we're going to make sure that we keep Preserve Alpha on. And we'll go ahead and accept that. And now to create our uh, more dramatic background, let's just take this layer. And we will duplicate it, Command J. This one we're going to change the blend mode to a linear burn. It gives us those nice deep colors like that. That looks pretty good. And uh, if we want, we can actually dial back the opacity just a little bit. You can play with this later on and find what works best, the blend, for you. So now all we need to do is add our character back in. So let's turn that layer back on. And we've got him, but he's just kind of there floating in space. So we're going to take and duplicate him, Command-J. And then let's come down to uh, this one. And we will flip him vertically like that. And then we're just going to again move that one down to where he's just touching his own self like that. That's pretty good. All right, so now what we'll do with that layer as well, we're going to take it and we're going to give it some motion blur. And we're going to add in that same amount of horizontal motion blur. Maybe now, probably a little bit less. Let's go with like 25 pixels on that. 30 or so. That works. And then just to give it a little bit more, we will take that and give it a Gaussian blur as well. Maybe not so much. Maybe right about there. And so, if we take these layers here, and group those. You can see your before and after. So easy way to create a uh, dramatic Adamski effect. I hope you liked that. If you did, please hit the like button or think about subscribing to my channel. Um, until next time, peace. Talk to you later. Bye.